So we can see that we are adding two each time, and that's what makes it arithmetic, that we're adding the same thing every time. What we're adding is called our common difference. We call it a D for short, so our common difference is two. It's easy to see what the next ones will be. We'll just keep adding two, la la la. Uh, if they want the 52nd term, that's pretty nice. We can get our 52nd term, so we call it A sub 52 is the 52nd term. By starting off with our first term, and adding our common difference 51 times. So notice like to get the second term, we added our common difference once. To get the third term, we added our common difference twice. So to get the 52nd term, we add our common difference 51 times. And so if we punch that into a calculator, we're gonna get that the 52nd term is 115. If we want an explicit formula, we can get any term we want by starting off with the first term and adding that common difference n minus 1 times. And so that's our explicit formula for the sequence. If you'd like, you can distribute the 2 and just collect like terms and get this uh, linear uh, equation. So these arithmetic sequences are basically just linear functions, except we're only dealing with one. Uh, we can only put in one, two, three for our first term, second term, third term, versus functions where we can put in like 1.2 and 1.3 and things like that. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that's that one.